All right, quick trick when the tens place out of the 10 and the units place is the same number. So what that means here is that the tens place, okay, what happening here in the tens place add up to 10. So you see six and four add up to 10 and the units place is the same number. So in this case, three, same number. Same thing over here, seven and three, you can see that add up to 10. So the tens place add up to 10 and the units place is the same number. All right, how this is gonna work is we're gonna split the problem into the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Okay, for the left-hand side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply the tens place here together and then add you know, whatever numbers over here in the units place. So for example, over here we're gonna have six times four and then add three. Okay, for the right-hand side, we're just gonna square the units place, so three squared. So six times four give us 24, 24 and three give us 27. Okay, three squared give us nine. But over here in the, uh, the right hand side, the right hand side we need two digits. So if we get nine, we're gonna write it as such, zero nine. Okay, so here's our answer, 2,709. The next problem here is 78 times 38. Same process, left hand side, seven times three plus eight doing seven times three plus eight or seven times three plus eight okay we're only doing that one time so seven times three plus eight for the right hand side eight squared okay seven times three give us 21 21 and eight give us 29 and eight squared is 64 so you see we get our, um, our answer very fast using this method. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this stuff. And um, what's neat about using these type, of, these type of problems is that you could kind of create your own practice problems. So if I just pick a random number, 37, okay? Well, I know that when I'm making these problems here that this has to add up to 10 and the unit's place has to stay the same. So I just kind of, you know, created this at the top of my mind. Similarly, if you know, if you have something like uh, 19 times 99. Okay, just so long as the tens place add up to 10 and the units place are the same. So let's work on this problem here. We're gonna split it left-hand side, right-hand side. Left-hand side, three times seven plus seven. So three times seven and then add seven. The right hand side, we simply square that seven squared. So three times seven, give us 21. 21 and seven, give us 28. Okay, seven squared is 49. There's our answer very fast, 2,849. Okay, 19 times 99. So we have one times nine plus nine and then nine squared, one times nine is nine. Nine and nine give us 18. Nine squared is 81. So you get your answer very fast using this method. All right, a couple more practice problems. Let's do something like 52 times 52. And how about 27 times 87. So over here, left-hand side, we're just gonna do five times five plus two. Right-hand side, two squared. So five times five give us 25. 25 and two give us 27. Okay, and two squared is four. We're gonna write it like this, zero, four. All right, this one here, 27 times 87. Left-hand side, two times eight plus seven. Right-hand side, seven squared. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 and 7 give us 23. 7 squared is 49. So we get our answer, 2,349. All right, I just kind of want to remind you that the uh, right-hand side needs two digits. So if you come up with something like um, 22 times 82 or... 41 times 61 or 
let's do 33 times 73. Okay, now each one of these problems, the, the, uh, the right-hand side is going to have two digits. So let's try this one here. We have 2 times 8 plus 2, right-hand side 2 squared. So 2 times 8 give us 16, 16 and 2 give us 18. Okay, and 2 squared is 4, but we need two digits here. Okay, we need two digits. So 2 squared is 4, we're going to write it like this, 0, 4. Okay, let's try this one over here. Left-hand side, we're going to do 4 times 6 plus 1. Right-hand side, 1 squared. 4 times 6 give us 24, 24 and 1 give us 25. 1 squared is 1, but like I said, we need two digits here on the right-hand side, so we're going to write like the 0, 1. All right, final problem here, 33 times 73. So here we have 3 times 7 plus 3, here we have 3 squared. 3 times 7 is 21, 21 and 3 give us 24. 3 squared is 9. We're going to write like this, 0, 9. Because once again, we need two digits on the right-hand side. All right. Very simple trick to use when you're doing these uh, special cases that when the tens place add up to 10 and the units place is the same number. So here I kind of have uh, written it out for you. So for the left-hand side, you're going to multiply the tens place together and then add the units place. And for the right-hand side, you're going to take the square of the units place. And once again, the right-hand side um, must have two digits in the answer. All right, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to leave a comment down below, I'll try to reply to that as quickly as possible. And if you want to see more of these type of videos on how to do quick maths, uh, Vedic maths, and algebra tutorials, simply subscribe to my channel for more. Okay, thank you.